Hey, hello everyone. We might aware that uh, availability check will be carried out for an item which is procured internally. That means uh, if we are manufacturing the product in our uh, own warehouse, then availability check will be carried out based on our resources. Whereas in case of third party sales order, item category TAS and uh, for individual purchase order, item category is TAB. In, in case of these two item categories, I mean sales orders, availability check won't be carried out. Whereas purchasing order scheduling will be taken place in case of third party orders. Because uh, item category TAS, the material has the external procurement enabled in the MRP2 window. If you see here, uh, F has been maintained in Material Master MRP2 window for the third party materials. If it is maintained, then for these materials, we don't maintain the stock in our warehouse. It will be externally procured from the third party vendor. And in the scheduling category CS as well, we have disabled the flags, requirement assembly and availability. And instead of availability check and delivery scheduling for third party sales orders, purchase order scheduling will be takes place based on the uh, standard backward scheduling and forward scheduling. And the two, uh, there are two parameters are there, planned delivery time and uh, purchase department processing time. You see, this is the window for that uh, purchase order scheduling. So most of the times we'll get confused with uh, whether this is an available check screen. No, it is not available check screen. It is purely for third party scenarios, purchase order scheduling. Yeah. And in the MRP2 window, we'll be maintaining the planned delivery time. In some other cases, the planned delivery time parameter will be retrieved from other sources that is purchase info record or from contracts. And coming to the purchasing department processing time that will be maintained in that purchaser level of the T code OMI8 plant wise. So Purchasing department processing time is the time that uh, purchasing department need to process those purchase requests and send it to send it as a purchase order to the supplier or vendor. That time is considered as in purchasing department processing time. So first system checks whether the request delivery date is fair enough into the future so that uh, it can be confirmed considering the two time elements, that is backward scheduling. Uh, suppose uh, if uh, the customer request delivery date is uh, August 20 and if the system performs backward scheduling based on these two parameters, plan delivery time and purchase department processing time and after performing those backward scheduling and if the proposed date is, uh, is still in future or today's, today's date, then it will propose that date. If it is go, go past today's compared to less than today's date, then backward scheduling fails. Obviously now, forward scheduling will uh, kick in.